today I have the honor and privilege to present to you my disease typhus. Um, so the objectives that I would like to cover today are background, and then some vocabulary that I will use in my presentation, the history of typhus, the three types of typhus, which are marine typhus, endemic typhus, and scrub typhus, then the symptoms, treatment and prevention, statistics, possible complications, future research, and then my conclusions. Some background. So um, typhus is a bacterial disease spread by lice and fleas and some and jiggers or different types of typhus. And yeah, um, there are three types of typhus and they are uh, um, scrub typhus, endemic typhus, and marine typhus. So some vocabulary. Um, antibiotics, a medicine that inhibits the growth of or, or destroys microorganisms. Contracted to get or acquire something su such as a disease by a certain method. An epidemic, a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Um, hygiene is conditions or practices conducted to maintaining health and preventing disease through cleanliness. Um, the first time that typhus was documented was in 1489. This was during the siege of Granada, and because of typhus, 17,000 soldiers died. So um, here's a picture of the, all these bodies are the soldiers that died of typhus. So the types of typhus, the marine typhus, this type of typhus is transferred from host to host by fleas. It's popular in the United States, and in particular in the United States, in California and Texas. It can be easily um, treated with antibiotics, and it is often seen during the summer and fall. Um, so endemic typhus, unlike marine typhus, it is not popular in the United States. It is actually um, common though in parts of Asia and Africa. And this, instead of fleas, is spread by lice. Um, so, um, scrub typhus, it is also known as jail fever. And this is spread by chiggers. Um, and, quote, um, war is not an adventure. It is a disease. It is like typhus. And um, this, this quote is true because war, it has, it has conditions, like, like conditions that you, you have to look through, like, you have to eat certain um, things, and sometimes the conditions are bad, so you get typhus, and like just like jail fever. So the conditions when you're in prison are bad. They, they can be like wet walls, and that's why you can get like chickens, mites. And so um, scrub typhus. With scrub typhus, epidemics occurred in Europe from the 16th to 19th centuries. This is a picture of sugar, the mouth, and the legs. Some causes of typhus is um, that you could get yourself involved in something that included fleas, lice, and chiggers, such as um, going to jail. And that is why that um, typhus is more common in adults, because they have more methods of getting, like, they're more at risk of getting typhus than children. And, or, or you could get it from someone else because it is contagious. So symptoms. One of the ways that doctor can tell the doctor can tell which type of typhus you have is by the symptoms. And so for marine typhus, the symptoms are backache, headache, vomiting, and dry cough. And the symptoms for endemic typhus are cough, high fever, and rashes. And here's a picture of someone with endemic typhus and they have rashes. Um, for scrub typhus, the symptoms are muscle pain, fever, headache, and cough. Um, the treatment for typhus, it, it is easily treatable with antibiotics. Um, when, when someone has marine typhus, it's easily treatable. Uh, um, they make a full recovery. But for endemic typhus, you can't really treat it. You can only use the antibiotics to help with the symptoms. And scrub typhus, it is also just, um, you can cure it with antibiotics. Um, before we got, we got a treatment for typhus, the death rate was 4 to 
but now that we have a treatment, it is less than 2%. Some specific antibiotics, um, the, the, the one that is commonly used is doxycycline, and then an alternative though is chlorpheninicol, but some other drugs that are used are chlormethromsin, roxythromycin, and fluoropenolones. Um, azithromycin or chlorophenicol is useful when um, is useful when children <coughs> or pregnant women have typhus. It helps them better. And tetracycline is another treatment, but it is not usually given to children because it sometimes it may permanently stain your teeth. So they wait until they're um, older and when their teeth have grown out fully, so then it won't stain their teeth. So some prevention methods are have good hygiene, don't let lice, fleas, or chiggers get to you, so stay in good places. Some statistics, um, without treatment, death may occur in 10 to 60% of patients with endemic typhus, but with scrub with the marine typhus, um, it only gives you a 2% chance of dying when you aren't treated, and scrub typhus is um, less than 15% without treatment. So um, uh, endemic typhus is the most dangerous type of typhus, and then it's, marine ty and then it's um, scrub typhus and marine typhus, from the most dangerous to other most dangerous. Um, so for future research, scientists are trying to find a better test to see if you can contract a typhus or not, because the tests that we have currently are that um, it's either too expensive or it's not accurate enough. Um, some conclusions. Um, now um, we have evolved and throughout the ages, and so we used to not have a treatment. And so if you had it, you had to just go on with it. But now that we do, we can get the treatment. And so we went from epidemics to getting better at the doctor. So what I mean by this is that um, in the olden days, when you had typhus, it sometimes turned into an epidemic because no one could really cure it. But now today, when we have it, we can just go to the doctor and he can, they can give something to us to make it better. And here's my bibliography. I would like to acknowledge my mom, my dad, my sister, Dr. Nib, Dr. Williams, Mr. Robinson, Ms. Lau, and, uh, and now I would like to open the floor to questions, comments, or constructive criticism. Antibiotics. 
and so yeah, they're trying to find something to cure in Dunning Typhus too. What about preventing? Um, no.